Alright, so we got Solar Beam going Ridley, and we have Cod's going Meta Knight. Rumor has it, he's the best. So this is like for most matchups that uh, the Meta Knight has, it really a big part of it is really determined by how well it can break your zone, as well as what kind of reward you can get off of uh, off of doing so. Meta Knight has some like really good combos that uh, depending on which character he's fighting he can. Ooh, baby, I was not sure if it was gonna make that back. I know he can like recover from the bottom of the stage, but I was not certain uh, if he was gonna make that one. Hold on a second, I might have. Alright, we might be getting another caster in here soon, but I guess we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Alright, so, um... Solar Beam doing a pretty good job of, uh... of keeping CODs off the stage. This is actually one of the points where we're really strongest, is that he's an excellent character for kind of staying on the ledge, on staying near the ledge and keeping people from recovering. Meta Knight has multiple jumps, but his air speed's not the greatest. And this might kill! Yep, he wasn't able to mash out in time, 130%. Almost pretty much guaranteed that from anywhere on the stage when you get grabbed by uh, Ridley's side beat. All right, good, good combos. Going for the foot, going for the, uh, for the dive kick on the upbeat. That move spikes super duper hard. It's actually pretty difficult to survive that. Oh, I'm joined by Wildcard. Hey, welcome, Wildcard. Hey, what's going on, guys? Not much, not much. Good, good. Oh, good. I'm able to see the match on your end. That's a good thing, so that way I'm be on the way. Yep. We have technology now. Nice, nice. Actually, give me one second so that way I can see it on my desktop because the camera on my phone is not that good. Okay, I will join in on my desktop. Oh, nice. Yeah, Solar Beam with a solid full stock lead. Cons has to kind of find a way to kill Solar Beam super early. You'd expect with Ridley being such a large character that uh, laddering would be pretty easy, especially because Ridley is very light for a heavy, or for a, uh, for a large frame character. He's actually lighter than Samus, which is very surprising to a lot of people. Actually, never mind. I can actually see uh, the match pretty well from my phone. Alright, never mind. You're good. Alright, do what you need to do. Okay, so we got, we got Solar Beam versus Pot. It's not a Solar Beam I have not seen in a minute. Yeah, Solar Beam has been entering a lot of our events, but uh, he hasn't really had that many uh, breakout performances. I think the best mm -hmm. he usually done is like top. Uh... Oh, baby, like top Ooh. 17. Or, uh. Is it top 17? The top 25 usually yeah. how well he does. Yeah, he does fairly good in the uh, recent Wi-Fi right now. Oh, he's gonna get him with that backer. Yeah, he's definitely like uh, Ridley's definitely the kind of character that's really tough to um, to play competitively uh, if you're solo manning him because he has a lot of matchups that he's really kind of weak against. But you know, mm -hmm. Meta Knight's not really one of them. Like he can yeah, kill just I as mean, well as Meta Knight can. Yeah, he could definitely kill Meta Knight pretty early. He's got some pretty heavy hits, but he does have big hurt boxes that can make him a uh, pretty decent combo for, for Meta Knight, especially with his multi-hit aerial. You yeah, know, he's definitely, he's in that weird um, super position between being like huge and also being super light. Like the other characters that are there are uh, Rosalina and uh, Mewtwo. However, he's not anywhere near length either of those characters, but he's still like far lighter than most characters his size are. Yeah, but you still gotta feel bad for Ridley because it's like, he's lighter than Samus and he's got that big hurt box. He's got that big Chungus hurt box, so it just... <laughs> He just has a hard time, man, making it in the meta. But for the people that have been, uh, for the people that have been really putting in the work with Ridley, I like, I like watching good Ridley play. Yeah, Ridley is, uh, he's definitely 100% a glass cannon. He's not as, uh, not as much of a glass cannon as Rosa or Two Ten and B, but he is definitely in that kind of archetype because he does a crazy yeah. amount of damage and he also like has super punishing huge moves. That he can use, and he has really good like ledge uh, pressure, like a lot better Absolutely. than most characters his size do. Absolutely, you know, definitely the fire those fireballs are a good edge guarding tool, and uh, definitely his forward smash is one of the most devastating in the game. Mm -hmm. So yeah, when, when 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 Ridley players try to uh, 
Yeah, they try to predict the neutral getup, and Ridley is just charging that forward smash. Oh man, they're in for a rude awakening. Yeah, Kaz is trying to find a way to kind of get in. I think the biggest issue Kaz has been having is he doesn't really know how to deal with... Oh my goodness. Oh wow, that was a good read. Yeah, it seems like Kaz hasn't really figured out how to deal with uh, the way that Zorbeam is playing the mid-range, because that's where Meta Knight tends to be the weakest. Meta Knight's awesome at, at, uh, at close range, because he has a lot of really quick moves, and he has some pretty decent... Uh, some pretty decent pressure tools against most enemies, but at mid-range he's really weak, especially against really has a very strong mid-range. Yeah, absolutely. Meta Knight definitely really has to really has to go bone in with his opponents to get that combo damage up. Mm -hmm. But now we see we see Cods. Yep, we see Cods definitely doing that right now. Yeah, good tech chase there. And that was a re-grab, but he wasn't uh, he wasn't in position fast enough. Oh my goodness, that Oh, that forward smash, yeah, though. Meta Knight's yeah. just gonna eat that forward smash, that'll be real good. You know, Sorbrim did a really good job spacing the, uh, spacing the forward smash on the whip that tilts. And no punish from Kods at the ledge, uh, for the re-grab. And oh, somehow, he's gonna push him get him. Yeah. No, he's still gonna make it back. Alright, ah, uh, if you just asked uh, him to stock. Yeah, if he, if he would have saw that coming a lot earlier and charged a forge match, he definitely would have had that stock. I don't think, so, I think Solar Beam honestly messed up his ankle. And was trying uh, to go Yeah, he probably, yeah, I don't think Kaz was probably expecting uh, Solar Beam to come down from that angle. Alright. Oh, oh, try to protect the roll in. That might be it. Uh, very no, close, not, just, not just yet. Oh, I'm gonna shark him a little bit. Solar Beam with a really, really well placed F tilt, and that's gonna be the set. Yeah, very favor. nice place at F tilt to catch the jump. Alright, let's see who we have next. I'm just looking at the bracket from my end. We got we got some killers tonight. We got we got Beast, we got WebJP. What else we yeah. got? This is a much less top heavy bracket than I'm used to seeing for our um, for our weekly. Honestly, uh, we have a lot less uh, players that would normally that we normally be seeing like the heavy hitters. Uh, I think yeah, uh, we have Skew. We have Skew who who uh, had a good run at this month at uh, this past Monday's uh, fusion. Making, really uh, nice, top good making top eight. Good for them. Um, actually, was it, I think he also made top three. I believe in that fusion. If I'm not mistaken. Um, oh, we have Haze as well. Uh, yeah, so that's it. We got some.